wildfire information comes into our website directly from firefighters on the ground. And where we really excel is in the first 12 to 24 hours before the government agencies have a base camp set up and information's coming in, into our website and we're being able to post that back out long before the agencies are able to get the information out because they're busy fighting the fire rather than having the resources to map the fire right off the bat. So we help with evacuation notices and getting that out to Red Cross and Sheriff's Departments to get more information out more timely. And then we're also crowdsourcing uh, social media. So uh, with the social media, we're being able to find out people on Facebook saying this road's closed or uh, this home is burnt down or we've been blocked access in this area. And we can publicize that information to the website. So it's not necessarily um, agency verified information, but the agencies do monitor the website and watch the information as it comes in and they do make decisions off of our incident information. So we're uh, ESRI Emerging Business Partner and we've been part of the program for the last three years now. Uh, this is our third ESRI Users Conference and we'll have a booth in the ESRI uh, Emerging Business Partner Startup Program area and then also uh, have aligned with the Public Safety Program where we have our real-time mapping trailer here. So we're here to show off a lot of the technology that we've been working on with Estri's public safety program. So we're, we were an early adopter of ArcGIS Online and uh, we use Collector to build live maps. So firefighters use our iPhones or iPads, go out in the field and they're able to collect damaged structures. And as they submit that information, it goes live to a map rather than in a process that would usually take two to three weeks to produce the final report. As they collect the information in the field, now it's live. Rather than paper-based form and clipboard, GPS, and a camera, they just use an iPhone and they take that picture and now it's live information. We have a couple different business models with our website. We sell advertising on the website. We get about 42 million page views a year that come into the website. And then we also have contracts with the United States government and also with the state of California for a wildfire response for our GIS trailers to go out and help with the live mapping of incidents. Yeah, we power the U.S. wildfire activity map for ESRI, and we also are working with partners to integrate our data for predictive analysis that they're selling off to insurance companies and risk management companies, and also properties that have assets at risk. So they take our information, plot it on a map, and say, when is the risk of this fire going to hit our properties? So that's uh, software as a surface that we do as well.